Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. Yeah, very, very difficult chart. Um, the price is grinding higher yesterday, or actually that was today. We've had a spike above this B wave high here of the triangle. Yeah, let's just for a moment assume that the orange wave count, um, not the orange, the gray wave count might be at play and that we might get a break to the upside here. Then I can tell you it's not yet confirmed. Um, the reason is this breakout is just too weak. Normally, if we get a break out of a triangle, it's very aggressive, it's very strong. I do not see that at this stage, okay? We wanna get a break above the 40 cent level. That's very clear, we haven't got that. Yeah, it touched it, but the thing is, it didn't, it, it failed to follow through. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video, the breakout point really that confirms a triangle break is a break above the B wave high that would be at 41 cents. So that hasn't happened yet. Um, so at the moment, yeah, you know, while this fifth wave to the upside could now be unfolding towards 43 to 48 and maybe even 53 cents, I don't have the evidence yet to confirm that. So we need to wait a little bit for confirmation. Surely the E wave of the triangle could technically, technically have finished here. And then, however, I would like to see um, bullish movement now, okay? Uh, we broke above the trend line, so maybe it's just simply coming back to retest and then continues. But we only have three waves up so far, as you can clearly see. And um, if the wave five has really started to unfold already, yeah, of this larger A wave that we discussed in previous videos, then it is probably not an impulse the way this goes. It looks like wave five might unfold as an ending diagonal, which is okay. So it would be simply an ABC structure. Um, no, it would be a five wave move. Well, let me actually think, how do we do that? No, it would be an ABC structure anyway. Yeah, the wave five is anyway an ABC structure. So we're not necessarily looking for five waves to the upside to confirm something that makes this move so difficult. Um, but we could say, okay, if we want to focus on higher, it's the last swing low that's relevant. So against the 37.2 cent level, we can focus on higher. It's just that it's not very clear that um, the triangle is breaking to the upside because again, we haven't taken out the 41 cent level, which is needed for confirmation. And the follow through is simply not there at this stage, okay? But yeah, if we, if we can now break above today's high, which is at 40.4 cents, take out then the 41 cent level, it should take us to 43 and 48.7 cents next and that would be in this wave five so a quick reminder the um, gray wave count assumes that wave four in a in this larger a wave unfolded as a triangle and possibly finished here uh, and then is now moving up in wave five but there is also the idea that the triangle or simply a b wave was unfolding here of wave four and the wave four is unfolding as a simple abc structure so Again, we have to give it that space. That's what the analysis tells us. We're just watching here if this triangle can break to the upside. Um, it can easily break to the downside as well, but then it would be some kind of a very messy structure. Um, but yeah, it would be an ABC structure for wave four. And you need to understand that the wave four is basically technically valid as long as it's holding the 29 cent level. It's even valid below that, but then it will become, you say, you, know, you can't believe it anymore, can't trust it anymore. This entire move up um, is, as I explained in previous updates, likely um, some kind of a diagonal pattern that we're tracking here yeah, in wave three. Wave three should be an ABC structure. And um, yeah, we're currently watching for the completion of the A wave in the yellow count. That's the primary count. The A wave has five waves can have three, okay? And that's why this structure is so difficult. It's not necessarily very suitable for trading, I think, at the moment. As you can see, there is not so much clarity at the moment. Best clarity we've got is to say, okay, or, you know, the best level we've got is the 29 cent level where we can say, okay, this wave A can still unfold in five waves as long as we have hold 29 cents. That doesn't necessarily give you the best reward to risk ratio unless you want to trade the triangle break. But again, there's probabilities issue. So yeah, we're simply tracking here the um, the wave patterns at the moment until a really good setup occurs. I think if we get a nice deeper pullback in wave B at some point, that might be a nice 
reward to risk ratio to trade the C wave higher. Until then, we have to be a little bit patient. Um, of course, you could trade this how you want to, but as you hopefully understand from the analysis, probabilities aren't very clear at this stage, even though um, I am tracking the triangle and I'm watching very much if the triangle is breaking to the upside. If it, if it does it, it would be the moment now, but it just needs to follow through. And then we're watching the area around 43 to 48.7 cent next. But either way, again, we can keep it very simple. As long as the 29 cent level is holding, a fifth wave in the A wave is still expected. If that level breaks, I would observe if we are, or investigate if we're in wave B, and then support is going to be 26.5 cents, 26.4. Only below that level, I would start to assume that something different is going on, something more bearish. Yeah, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.